too hot guys if I don't have the window open, which means the New York City noise is gonna be on another level today. It's that time of the year that feels like Christmas. It's the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. It's a sale that I have loved for many, many years, that I was unable to shop in 2020 due to my year-long no-buy, and that I am technically unable to shop this year because I've already broken every low-buy budget rule that I've set for myself, I feel like, but that might not stop me from shopping this sale. So if you are interested in hearing what are the products that I would like to get, what are the products that I think would be great to give, and what are the products that frankly are garbage, then please keep on watching. Hi everyone, trying new lighting, trying new setup, hope you guys can hear me. I'm gonna try to speak up. I'm sitting further away from my phone, so if the sound in this video is crap, please let me know. I will try for the first time to do some sort of an external mic situation, even though that freaks me out. I'm trying to spice things up. I'm trying to learn more. I'm trying to try new things. And the other thing before we jump into the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty that I want to address because probably somebody will notice and be concerned is the bruise on my arm. It's two weeks old, I bruise very easily. I was away for some performances, had a late night with a very old friend that I hadn't caught up with in years. And um, probably had one too many glasses of Prosecco, went to pick something up from the floor, tripped and fell onto a metal shelf. It happened. It happened the night before the concert. I woke up barely feeling my arm. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be such a big deal. Like, it didn't feel that big of a deal at the time, but then the next day and subsequent two weeks, it ended up being more than I bargained for. Regardless, I'm fine, it's just a bruise, it's no big deal. And other than that, if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Natalia, I'm a concert pianist who loves all things beauty, who loves all things Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. And sales especially have gotten me into a lot of trouble over many, many years to the point where I did an entire year-long no-buy in the year of 2020. I am trying to navigate some sort of a sense of a low-buy, Budget situation this year, I'll be honest, it's not really working. I'm really gonna have to rethink things. I'm really trying to find that balance. So if you are interested in my journey, if that can help your journey in any way, if you're currently doing a no-buy or low-buy and do need to have those honest conversations with somebody that also has succeeded at it and has failed at it, then you are in the right place. I hope that you will consider subscribing and joining our Frugal family. I decided that instead of going through every single item of this sale, which A, would take me forever, you guys know I'm long-winded, B, nobody needs that. We're not going to be shopping this sale every single day. At least I hope most of you are not going to be shopping this sale every single day. So I decided to format this very differently than anything I've done in the past because I have done, I think, one or two other Ulta 21 Days of Beauty kind of like talk me out of everything videos. I can link whatever I find from last year up here in the cards for you guys. I decided to really try to narrow myself down to just a few things. If we don't agree on anything, then please give me your recommendations down below. Maybe you've tried products I haven't. Maybe we have different preferences and somebody reading the comments is more closer to your makeup and skincare taste so would love to have a conversation about it my goal essentially was to do three different categories a get category kind of things that I am really interested in things that I would love to get whether I'm going to or not is already a different story then I am thinking from the perspective of somebody that wants to make sure I don't overspend during the holidays. So if you have makeup and skincare, body care lovers in your life and you want to use the sale as a jumping board for holiday shopping, I think this would be a great time to do that. And then we're going to talk about some things that I just don't think are worth it, even the 50% off price that Ulta 21 Days of Beauty offers. So that's going to be our garbage category. Now, of course, it's not really that these products are necessarily garbage. Maybe some of these are products you use and love on a daily basis. So please take the salt with a grain of salt. This is just my opinions and I'm just here to have a little bit of fun. If you're not familiar with what Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is, by the way, if you are new to the beauty community or just never shopped the sale before, it's kind of like a flash site sale situation. So basically every single day, Ulta selects several beauty 
beauty, skincare, body care products and lists them at 50% off usually and it's for that day only. So it is a flash sale essentially. There are tons of websites that do this for all sorts of categories in our lives and this happens to be the beauty version of it. It starts on August 29th the cards agree. Which is a Sunday and goes through Saturday, September 18th. So I have my computer in front of me. I will be occasionally leaning forward and back just to kind of scroll through the days. I will try to edit that out because it might be annoying for you guys to see me do this. Do you hear the sirens? That might be annoying too. Who knows? Okay, siren over. Squeaky chair though is here to stay. I'm sorry if today things are not as organized. And if today happens to have an extraneous amount of sirens, which so far it clearly does, because we haven't even started. Ooh, what's with the flickering lights? More sirens. Changing up the voicing. We got more harmony. Higher pitches, lower pitches, a choir of sirens. All right, just want to acknowledge the fact that I dressed and did my makeup in the colors of Ulta. Hopefully Ulta, who will never watch this, will appreciate that fact. Yes, it was planned. And yes, I'm proud of that. I also have some notes here, my computer here. It's, it might be a mess of a video, but we're going to get through it. I'm, I'm also going on about two hours of sleep. It was an exciting day. I went hot air ballooning for the very first time in my life, but that meant I had to get up at four o'clock in the morning and I'm a night owl. So even though I tried to get to sleep earlier, I couldn't sleep. So yeah, this might be a bit of a train wreck, but bear with me. Let's start with my wish list that get category. As I mentioned earlier today, it doesn't mean I'm going to get all these things because technically I should not be getting anything, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to chat about makeup and we all want more of it. Don't lie to me. You also want more of it. I hope you don't get more of it if you don't need it, but you want it. The first thing on my list would be some sort of a foundation or a tint. But right now I'm more into tints and CC creams as I feel like a lot of people are. Foundation and tints in general is something that I feel like I have more older products and I am only this year starting to catch up and try newer things. And with formulas constantly changing and my skin constantly changing, being that I am 40 now, it's just something that I've been more curious about. So the four things that caught my eye out of which of course i would probably only choose a one if you guys by the way have any recommendations i'd love to know i am looking into the smashbox halo tint more sirens oh this is gonna be a long night is on August 30th and it is the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow Tinted Moisturizer. This has SPF 25 in it and while I know that doesn't mean that we should not be using separate SPF, it is a plus for me because I am trying to become more of a regular SPF user. I'm not as good as where I need to be. So I think any extra help I can get in my makeup is something that I should consider. That one is pretty high up on the list and it's going to be $19 instead of 38. Another product I have heard about for a long time and has been on my wish list for a while is the Erborean CC cream, which is going to be on sale on September the 2nd for $22 instead of $44. Now here's my problem with this product. It comes in three shades. And while I get it that it's just a CC cream tint, whatever, just light, medium, and caramel, which basically looks like a deeper end of medium, is not not great. So I don't know. I'm really on the one hand curious about this product. On the other hand, I just don't like the idea behind that. I just realized I should probably scooch a little bit so that I can put up some photos of these products. On September 5th, we have the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup with SPF 45. This is, I think, the number two contender after that Smashbox Halo because again, it has the SPF 45. I have heard people review it very 
very positively and I'm curious about it. And if you have tried one or the other or both, please let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. And then the last product, it's kind of an honorable mention. The only reason I'm even considering this is because I have tried a mask from Hey Honey before and really, really enjoyed it. So when I saw that they are going to have their trick and treat CC2 active propolis color correcting cream or CC cream what a name on uh let's see when is this going to be on sale this is going to be on September 13th it is originally $39 so that means it's going to be on sale for $19.50 now this is also an honorable mention kind of similarly to the Arborian for similar reasons we have only five shades to work with this is better than the Arborian because the shades from what I can see in the picture do range from light to quite a bit deeper and being that it is a CC cream, if it's a light coverage situation, more people might get away with it, but clearly still not ideal. My first two choices are the Smashbox and the Estee Lauder, and the other two I'm just curious about. So I'm just kind of starting a conversation here in case any of you guys have tried it, in case you've heard anybody review it, I would love to know. Item number two, I know we just talked about four and I'm still only in number two, but we're kind of doing categories at this point. One of the things I really do like to to take advantage of during this Ulta 21 Days of Beauty event is skincare. I don't need more skincare right now. I actually purchased a bunch of skincare from Ulta just the other day as it is, and I still have some older skincare that I am working through from even before my Nova year. But I'm kind of at a point where I haven't used anything brand brand new in such a long time, and I wanna test out new formulas. As my skin is changing, I wanna see what works, what doesn't. So I figured 50% off is a great way to try one or two things if I decide to do so. One of the things that caught my attention is on sale on August 31st and this is from the brand Peach and Lily. I've heard great things about them, never tried them before. I just purchased one of their cleansers but I haven't used it yet. I'm finishing up the one that's in my shower right now and I will report back on that. This glass skin refining serum that they have on sale on August 31st looks and sounds quite interesting and appealing to me. It's originally $39. It's going to be on sale for $19.50. I might pick this up. The third item that I'm really tempted to get, and this is something that was in the sale last year, as a lot of these products are. This is something I meant to say actually at the start of the video, and I completely forgot. And it is important, especially for those of you that are doing no buys right now. Please remember that while you see so many YouTubers talk about the sale, including myself at the moment, these products will come back on sale. Most of these products are those that are either slightly older or just in general, not something mainstream beauty buyers are scooping up on a daily basis. So hence they're going on sale and that means they will continue to go on sale. Don't feel pressured to buy something just because I'm talking about it or somebody else that you watch talks about it. I have fallen into this trap so many times and I still continue to fall into this trap. We all get FOMO. We all completely understand it and I think we all need to call it out for what it is once in a while and just remind ourselves that while it is fun to talk about these new things that we want, it doesn't mean we need to get every single one of them. We can admire the beauty of some of these products from afar. We can spend a few minutes talking about them, getting it out of our system and then move on with our daily lives while we focus on other goals in our life that are more important. Saying all that, last year because I was in a no buy, this product was part of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. It was newer at the time, so it was even more exciting. It was even more fresh in my mind. I really, really wanted it. It was one of those products where it really pained me at the time to not be able to try. And it's back. As I just said, things come back, so it's back. What I'm talking about is the Nabla Skin Glazing Highlighters. I believe they got rid of the word highlighters. I don't know if those were included before, but I think they were marketed initially as highlighters. These are going to be on sale on September the 2nd. There are eight different shades. A lot of them are more blush 
type shades, ruby and mauve and pink and peach. So it depends, of course, on your preferences, on your skin tone. They can all be used as blush toppers or even blush itself or as highlighters. I do still have two shades hearted from last year. One of these I'm still definitely interested in and that is the shade Privilege. It's listed as a champagne with duochrome peach reflex. That sounds so right up my alley, especially actually for the summer, which I know we're exiting, but nonetheless. And then the second shade is Truth, which is a peachy rose. So because I do like peach blush, I also happen to love mauve and there are some rosier mauve pinks here. So I don't know. I think if I do cave, I will need to narrow it down to one shade. But I am still, after all this time, curious about this formula about Nabla. I've never tried the brand, so might try one. Moving on to number four, and this is my weak link every single time, and that's eyeshadow palettes. And there are like four or six or eight or 10 of them on, on this sale. I don't even know. I stopped looking after a while after like the first three or four that caught my eye. I was like, okay, enough. You don't even want to know what else is out there because you're going to want those too. But there are those few eyeshadow palettes that have been on my mind on and off for as long as they have been in existence. One of those palettes and probably at the top place on my list is the Persona Identity eyeshadow palette. This palette went on Ulta 21 Days of Beauty at 50% off. I believe actually back in 2019 and I was so close to scooping it up but I was already trying mentally to resist buying every single thing I was already considering some sort of a low buy no buy situation I was sort of gradually prepping myself and as I've talked openly on this channel many times before I am not in a financial state in general to go out and buy every single thing that I want it is just not something my life allows so I resisted this palette because I already have so many neutral palettes but I keep hearing Hearing people talk about even all these years later and I keep admiring it and I keep looking at it once in a while I'm still torn I would love to know if you guys own this one and what you think whether you think it still holds up to like the modern day the modern era eyeshadow palette releases the things that we're seeing now in 2020 2021 if you could give me some advice that would be amazing because I would like to update my neutral eyeshadow palettes because the ones that I do have are of course all old but at the same time, if for example, like my Tarte, Tarte Lid and Bloom or my older Lorac Pro palettes, if you think those still hold up a candle to this one and I really don't need it, please talk me out of it similar vein and I'm going to mention this palette in the next category. Too Faced Born This Way the Natural Nudes eyeshadow palette. I feel like people either didn't get it because they didn't like the layout of it because they thought it was too boring or those that are neutral lovers got it and love it and I have to be honest it looks intriguing for the same exact reasons that the Persona Identity palette looks intriguing. By the way, the Too Faced palette is going to be on sale on September 1st. It's going to be $24 instead of $48. And the Persona palette is going to be on sale for $21 instead of $42. And that's going to be, I believe, on August 31st. Okay, so they're back to back. Would love to know what you think about both of those. On yet a similar vein, can you tell I'm trying to upgrade my neutral palettes even though I probably don't need to? On September 14, the new formula of the Lorac Pro palettes. So they are Noir, they are Soleil, and then they are largest one. All three are going to be on sale. They're going to be $17.50. I don't know, for $17.50, I was like, well, maybe I should upgrade my Lorac Old Pro palettes because I have the Original Pro, I have the Pro 2, and then I have the Mega Pros. I have, I think, all four of them. Have any of you guys tried this formula? How does it compare to the other one? Should I declutter my other ones and just get one of the new ones instead and consolidate and just have one better one? I would love to know if any of this is worth it or if I am just just making this overly complicated and I should just keep using what I already have. Lastly, out of the palettes that caught my attention is the ABH Norvina palette. That's going to be on sale on September 17th. That is a palette that I have loved the aesthetic of ever since it came out from the packaging down to what is inside the palette. And I have heard mixed reviews, but primarily positive again over the past three, four years that it's been in existence. I might end up just saying, forget it. I'm not getting any of these because that happens with me sometimes when I get overwhelmed, when my brain goes into a sensory overload and it's like, oh, I want this one and this one and this one and this one, but I can't afford all of them, nor do I need all of them, so what am I going to do? And I sort of just say, forget it. I just, I'm just, i just going to let all of them go and just take a step back. But if you have any advice for me, that would be amazing. 
All right, and last but not least, as far as the items that I am eyeing, so the fifth item is back to skincare, and this is an eye cream. And this is an eye cream I used to really love in my 20s, and it might not work for me anymore, but I liked how light it was. I liked its gel texture, and I feel like actually, maybe right now for my aging eyes, that could be the way to go. And I'm talking about the Clinique All About Eyes eye cream. It's gonna be on sale on September 17th. It is originally 35, it's going to be on sale for $17.50. It's a half an ounce, which is very standard for an eye cream. Ah, they have two. I just noticed that. They have the original, which is what I used to use, and then they have a rich eye cream. Ooh, maybe that's the one I should try. This is one I'm leaning towards trying and getting. The other things I'm still on the fence about, although I do want all of them. I would love to get a new foundation or a skin tint, but narrow it down to just one. I would love to try the Nabla highlighter blush situation, the skin glazes or whatever they call them. I'm not really interested in the bronzers. I would love to add the peach and lily to my skincare routine. I'm really curious about that one. I've heard really good things. The other thing I've heard really good things about that I didn't mention yet is the Origins mask. I think they have that on sale also in the first few days. Kind of curious about that one too, but I think I'm leaning towards the peach and look. All right, I said this was going to be shorter, and here we are. Category two, the give category. So these are the things and my suggestions, and you can tweak these based on the people you know in your life, their preferences, their skin types, etc. Here's what I put down and what I would consider for the people in my life. Number one, mom, aunt, any sort of a family member that is not necessarily up with the younger trends. There are a few items that are from your classic luxury, how would I call these brands? They're like the almost like the heritage brands. They're like the brands that have been around, that have stood the test of time, that most people have heard of. Some of the things, I'm gonna pop them up on the screen and not talk too much about it, but some of the things that caught my attention on August 30th, Estee Lauder has a little kit with the Advanced Night Repair and a couple of other sample size products. I've used the Advanced Night Repair. I actually think it's a great product. I know some people think it's overrated. It is expensive, so maybe in that sense it might be, but at 50% off for a smaller size, I think this is like a 0.67 ounce. You get to try it for 25 bucks, also get a couple of other items with it. I think it's a great gift. And I think it's something that people in the know would appreciate. Whether they like it or whether they don't, they will understand that you understand, that you really took time to think about that and that you think the person deserves something that classy and prestigious. Similarly, there's a Shiseido serum on sale on September 2nd. Most people in my life at least that really do take care of themselves that are maybe a little bit older, no Shiseido, trust Shiseido. So that serum could be a good gift for somebody. As well as there is a, on September 8th, they have the Advanced Genefi anti-aging face serum similarly it's a 0.67 ounce for $26 so you kind of in between the Estee Lauder and the Lancome if you know that you have a family member that uses more of one versus the other here's a great way to impress them by letting them know that you pay attention that you care and I think that could be a really fun thing to get you also could get this for somebody that doesn't always take care of themselves they maybe don't have time maybe they don't feel like it's worth the money or the effort but you feel like they deserve a little pampering I think. category two would be for a friend somebody that wears makeup maybe to work or regularly but is again not of the YouTube spectrum where we know way too many brands and have way too much stuff somebody who is the more traditional typical consumer buys very few products i think there's some really great products in this sale for somebody like that two standouts for me i've mentioned already in the get category because i still think that basic neutral palettes are beautiful the two standouts would be that same Too faced born this way natural whatever it has a long name that palette the one that's on sale on september 1st or the Lorac pro palettes i think both of those are beautiful the more cool tone noir or the more wa warm tone soleil i think people that wear those colors on the daily would appreciate it. I think it would be their staple go-to palette. I'm sure the formula as well, not maybe of indie status of, you know, shine to the gods sort of caliber. I'm sure the quality of all of these palettes is very, very good for somebody that wears 
makeup with a very specific purpose. Category three, however, is a friend that is maybe a little bit more savvy with makeup. So it's a little tricky to buy things for them because they might already have all those palettes or maybe they have the skincare that is on sale already because they are sort of like the rest of us who are up to snuff on what's going on in the beauty community. I think for people like that, whether they already own these things or they don't, the safest thing to do is to go with brushes. Because let's face it, I feel like none of us can ever have enough brushes, either because we're too lazy, we don't wash them, or because we're just brush junkies and there's a different shape and a different fiber and a different hair and a different handle, and, right? We're all there. And I do think that IT Cosmetics brushes for Ulta are really good, especially for the price during the 21 days of beauty. So these brushes are on sale on September 11th. It's a Saturday and there's a few different sets and the sets range regularly from $30 to $65. They're gonna be on sale from $50 to $32.50. I do feel like very often that is such a good way to go when you just are afraid that you're gonna get somebody something they might already have or you just don't know their preferences well enough to safely get them actual makeup. I think brushes are such a great gift. All right, now we have a fun category for maybe a colleague that you want to treat to something a little more cute, a little more of a novelty item, or maybe a teenager in your life that enjoys beauty already, but you don't want to get them like hardcore makeup. I think fun body care is a good way to go. On August 31st, Kapari has a bunch of their coconut melts, I think in a couple of different scents which essentially is like a body lotion, body souffle type situation. And I haven't tried them myself, but I've heard overall really, really good reviews. And I feel like a nice body product, something you put some effort and thought into is always a nice way to go, especially when you're not quite sure what to get somebody. Another thing that I thought could be fun for this category would be the Beauty Bakery items. Beauty Bakery has some items on the 14th of September. Again, these are like the kind of products that I think people wouldn't necessarily think to get for themselves. They have like a brownie bar. They have a Neapolitan bar, which is the same thing but for a lighter skin tone person. It also has a bronzer, highlighter, and blush, but in different shades. You have like a lemon bar face palette, and then they have the Queen of Tarts face palette. So these are all face products. So again, you're taking a little bit more of a chance there, but I think it could be cute and it could be fun. These are all retailing for 18, so they're gonna be only $9. I think that could be a really fun gift. And then the fifth category I have in the give portion of this video is a gentleman. Whether it is your significant other, a friend, or somebody at work. I think with most men, whether they need a push in that direction or whether they are already there, a nice solid skincare item, something that, you know, does not scare them, something that looks the part and performs the part is the way to go. And in this specific sale, I found two items that I thought would qualify qualify quite nicely for this. And again, please take this with a grain of salt. You might know men in your life, as I do, that love makeup and you can get them any of the other things we've just discussed. Or you might know men, as I also do, that have never put an ounce of any product, even something as simple as a moisturizer, on their face and refuse to. These are all just suggestions. But the first thing that I thought could work really nicely for a gentleman would be the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Sleep Set with Eye Mask. A lot of guys, as a lot of us in general, but a lot of guys don't show their stress, but they are stressed. And I think it would be nice to give them a relaxing eye mask, to give them a nice serum to rejuvenate and keep them you know, going and fresh looking, and I think it would do wonders for everybody's self-esteem, including the men in our lives. So I've tried the Midnight Recovery Serum, I like it, and it comes in a really, really nice package. I think it's totally gender neutral, so I don't think it would scare anybody off. Because you know, some men, if you give them a hot pink bottle, they 
they're gonna have an issue with that. Whether we agree with that or not, that's really a different story, but that's just how the cookie crumbles. And we have to be thinking of that when we are gifting somebody something, right? We have to still think of the other person. I think this would be a really fun set for somebody to try out some more luxe skincare. And it's going to be on sale for $14.50, so not a very large investment, but might get somebody hooked on taking more care of themselves. And I think that would be the greatest gift. Most of the guys that I know in my life, they do tend to have skin that is either more normal, combo, or oily. I know less people with a dry skin than let's say ladies. I'm not saying there aren't men out there that have very dry skin, I know there are. But overall, I feel like guy skins tolerate a little bit more. So I think this cream, while I've only tried a sample of it, based on what I experienced and what I've heard other people talk about, I think this would be a great try for a gentleman in your life and that's the sunday riley title cream it's more of it's a water cream it's more of a gel formula gel consistency so this cream is originally a whopping 65 it's going to be on sale for 32.50 on september 7th However, in the product description, there's also a half an ounce size for $22 originally. And I'm wondering if that one will also be on sale for 11. I guess we would have to wait until September 7th to find out because I'm really not sure. That could be another thing, right? Is to get somebody a smaller size for them to try and see if they like it. And that completes our give category. Now we're gonna get into the garbage. And as I said earlier, doesn't mean that I think these products are actually trash some of them have probably very good ingredients, very good formulas. I just, for whatever reason, do not think that they're necessarily worth your investment at this point. One of these products is something that was also on sale last year, something that I lusted after last year, and something that, technically speaking, I still would love to try. Like, if it came to me in a gift or something, I would probably enjoy this and try it and be curious about the formula. However, I think by now, from all the reviews I've seen, there are better formulas out there. This product is starting to be forgotten. And frankly, I just don't think you need it. Um, if you already have it and you enjoy it, great. But if you're thinking that you need three other shades or two other shades of it, I, I would you know, maybe take a step back and reevaluate that because there's always new makeup coming out and you're going to want to try that too. Let's face it, that's generally how all of us here in the YouTube community function, right? We, we want to try the newest, the latest, the greatest. So the product I'm talking about is the CoverFX Monochromatic Blush Duos. I was so all over this when these came out. I really wanted to try them. I was so bummed when they went on the 21 days of beauty sales last year and I couldn't purchase them thanks to my no buy. And now, frankly, I'm over them. I think that's pretty safe to say. I think I'm over them. There are three blushes in the sale that caught my eye. The Nablas that I discussed earlier, which technically, as I said, I think are highlighters, but a lot of people use them as blushes. The Buxom, is it the Wonderlust blushes? Yeah, the Buxom Wonderlust blushes, people have been raving about those on and off for a while too, especially the one in the shade Seychelles. And then these cover effects ones. And I realized that the cover effects ones no longer have a hold over me. So I think that they are kind of phasing out of the beauty community, which means they're probably gonna phase out of your mind as well. You're probably gonna get them, you're gonna try them a few times, and even if you like them, the newest, latest, greatest blush release is gonna come out. You're gonna put these in the back of the drawer and you're never gonna touch them again. At least I know that's what I will do. So since, you know, I'm talking about my get, give, and garbage, that's kind of where I am. Second product is something I scientifically don't know anything about, but just based on the little information that I have read and just kind of my gut feeling, I think this is a bit of a marketing BS product. This is the Cerevital Vitamins. Let's at least give them their proper name, even though I think this is such a bogus product. Oh, doesn't even have an exciting name. What I'm talking about is the Cerevital Advanced. These are what looks like vitamins because they're like a bunch of pills and these retail for $119 for 180 of them. Yes, they're gonna be $60 for a product that has less than three and a half star rating on Ulta and uh, honestly, they're always on sale. They're always on sale and I've never heard anybody talk about them, especially highly. So please save your money, eat more broccoli. 
I don't know what else to tell you. Okay, this next one might be a bit controversial because I know a lot of people still do really like this product and that's going to be the Beauty Blender that's on sale on September 5th. It's originally $20. Yes, it's gonna be on sale for $10, but honestly, there are sponges at the drugstore you can buy on sale cheaper. There are sponges from Shop Miss A that I use, the Papa sponges that are like a dollar and 60 cents each that I think are comparable, if not better. I am so over the Beauty Blender. I used to be a diehard beauty blender user. I went through at least five or six of those sponges and if you do the math, that is like $120 worth. I could have bought a hundred pawpaw sponges for that same price. <laughs> that would have lasted me probably four lifetimes or whatever. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating, but you, you get the drift. I don't know. I mean, if you really love these, this is the bubble scent, which is, I guess, the light pink. I'm over the beauty blender. So as far as I'm concerned, that sponge can go straight in the garbage. Here's another more controversial thing. And this is something that did not work out for me at all. They do however have several different kinds on sale. So if you've tried other ones that do work for you, I'm I'm sorry, I don't know much about those, so I'm not gonna speak about those, but on September 16th, the Benefit Professional Primer is going to be on sale for half off. I used a whole thing of this primer up because this was in the early days of my wearing makeup and I didn't have a lot of products in general and I was determined to use up every single thing, but I did not enjoy it one bit. I hate that silicone-y feel. I don't know, I feel like even though yes, it kind of smooths and mattifies and it makes things a little bit more blurry looking so your pores are not so pronounced I feel like it clogs the pore. I don't know. I'm just not into the silicone feeling primers usually in general. And last but not least is a product I've tried recently. Again, there are three different kinds on sale. These are the Clinique moisturizers. These are all the ones that contain SPF. So they have the extra firming wrinkle control, firming day cream, broad spectrum SPF 15. This comes in like a peachy bottle. I'm actually using up a sample of that right now. I like it better than the one I put on my list. However, I, I'm still not like over the moon about this. I don't like the fact that it has a fairly strong scent and I think it's okay. It's definitely not $88 worth, which is what its full price is. And it's not even $44 worth, which is what its sale price is going to be. The moisturizer that I wanted to talk to you guys about that I just actually included in my empties video, which went up a couple of days ago, my ginormous empties video. I had a small size, but like not a tiny sample, a decent sample size of this that Influencer sent me. And this is the multi-active day cream SPF 20. It comes in the pink jar. I didn't like it. Again, too strong of a scent. I didn't think it was anything special. It was okay, but it barely kept me moisturized. It's a $55 moisturizer. So yes, it'll be on sale for $27.50. But even at $27.50, I think you're better off looking at a bunch of other moisturizers that are in the sale. There's like Murad products in the sale. And I think Murad is a great brand. There's Tula products in the sale. I'm not about this. The only one I have never tried and the most expensive out of all of them here is the Super Restore day cream SPF 20 it's a whopping $129 full price so yes if this is your holy grail scoop it up for 65 bucks I, I don't know go to a counter and get a sample that that would be my recommendation on us and that is my five garbage products i hope that you guys enjoyed this little get give or garbage situation maybe i'll make this into a series and do some other theme with this sort of an idea just wanted to tell you guys a few other things that caught my eye that i'm not necessarily of course going to buy because i'm going to be limiting myself but these could kind of be swappable for something else in my gift category if you know any false lash lovers in your life on september 13th there's going to be a whole Whole bunch of lashes that are going to be at 50% off and I don't wear lashes so I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know what any of them are but watch other videos because I've heard tons of people recommend 
I think it's the House of Lashes brand. But again, please don't take my word for it. But I just wanted to put that out there. For skincare, I already mentioned there was an Origins mask that caught my eye. And I have tried a bunch of Skin Iceland products and I really love the brand. They have their eye patches on sale on September 2nd. So if you've never tried those and you enjoy products like that, I would give that a go. And then a fun eyeshadow single situation because I think these are still relevant and there are formulas out there right now that are similar and very popular popular but I feel like at the time these were really revolutionary would be the Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadows specifically their Moon Dust Shadows I don't think their regular ones are worth even the sale price but the Moon Dust ones I think at 50% off are going to be $11 each just find one shade to try like one fun one if you do especially if you don't have a lot of indie if you don't have a lot of those uh, sparkly glittery toppers these are beautiful I just did um, declutter recently of all of those smaller single products of mine and I don't think I posted yet the part two where I went through my singles but spoiler alert for when I do post that video I don't think I got rid of a single one of my moon dust singles maybe maybe one but I don't think so I think I kept those just because they're still they're still fun they're still cool they're still fun and I think those could be something worth looking into and I think other than that that's all I got yes there's a ton more that's on sale but as it is I've been recording for an hour and a half so who knows how I'm gonna edit this down hopefully I can somehow condense this into something that's a bit more sizable I hope that this was helpful in some way again a reminder if you're not chopping the sale that's amazing. Kudos, pat on the back, cheers to you. I'm so proud of you. I kind of actually wish I'm right there with you and I might be, who knows? I might actually, as I mentioned earlier, just say too much, too overwhelmed, have to stop spending money, have too many things I haven't even tried still sitting around here and just not chop the sale. But I do have to say it caught my eye because I haven't shopped this sale and it used to be one of my favorite things to do so i needed to do this video just to help me get this out of my system start the conversation maybe have you guys talk me out of some things hopefully not talk me into anything too much and i would love to know what you're picking up in the sale if anything i would love to know what caught your eye what would be your get give and a garbage products please do share below that would be so fun and just one more reminder if you haven't already to please subscribe and other than that, I hope that you guys are doing really, really well. I hope that you're continuing to stay safe and healthy and to take care of yourselves and those around you. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.